I'd like to finish the right view tonight by talking about my view on Juneteenth. We started this show to represent a viewpoint that daytime TV either ignores or deliberately silences opinions that deviate from progressive ideology. So let's dissect this new idea that Republicans shouldn't celebrate or mark the occasion that Juneteenth represents, even though Juneteenth exists because of Republicans. What we've seen in the last few weeks since this rally was announced um, was Democrats doing what Democrats always do, claiming they're entitled to something. So let me tell you this. The only thing surrounding Juneteenth that Democrats are entitled to do is apologize. Because you see, Juneteenth celebrates uh, the last Emancipation Proclamation reaching the slaves to be freed. The same slaves that Democrats fought a civil war to keep and lost. It was Republican Abraham Lincoln who took on the Democrats in the South. And now, in 2020, Democrats in the media continue to try and gaslight the masses by claiming Republicans cannot celebrate our own victory in humanity and liberty, a war that Democrats waged against humanity. And Republicans, thank God, came out victorious. So today belongs to all black Americans, regardless of their party affiliation. And for Democrats in the media to try to shame us, try to keep us indoors, try to silence our voices is absolutely laughable. President Trump listened to his friends and advisors, as he always does, and moved the rally to Saturday in an effort to distract from the importance and recognition of the second Independence Day of America. So we are still allowed to celebrate this occasion. Democrats will not claim our victory, and the left will consistently politicize our black experience, from Nancy Pelosi kneeling in African garb for a photo op to Joe Biden kneeling in a black church. They want to use our experience as a prop. Joe Biden even tried to weaponize this date against President Trump, and in doing so, proved his own ignorance of the occasion. He said we were going to Texas, and that was his first mistake. But then he said Juneteenth was about Black Wall Street. Again, he has no clue and lacks all care and consideration for what Black Americans experience, even as he tries to use our experience to further his own political career. It was President Trump who thought enough was enough, and the empty words of failed politicians were horrible. Real action was taken by President Trump in the absence of establishment politicians and their false promises. And our communities are now having a change. It was President Trump, through police reform, school choice, and opportunity zones, finally gave distressed communities a fighting chance. We will reflect on the injustices of the past and embark on a path forward to a brighter future. We will stand together and say, that you are not entitled to our vote, our thoughts, or our allegiance. So stop weaponizing our experience because we will choose our path forward. And some of us choose Donald Trump. And white liberals just need to deal with that. And yes, I am still black. Happy Juneteenth, everyone.